Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com. Let's take a look at this Shocker Streamline Aluminum Air Cushion 2 Ball Mount for your 2-inch hitch receiver. Now this heavy-duty aluminum frame shock absorbing hitch features an airbag and cushion bump stops to give you a smooth and comfortable ride while limiting chucking and jerking to give you better control over your truck and your trailer. This is also going to help extend the life of your truck and trailer by protecting them from unnecessary wear and tear. And this is also going to reduce the noise and rattle that's common with standard ball mounts. Now, I wanna point out that, again, this is going to fit your two inch hitch receiver. However, this is not going to fit a two and a half inch hitch receiver, even with a reducer sleeve, because trucks with a two and a half inch hitch have deeper frames. Also, this is not going to work with your SUVs, CUVs, or sedans due to limited clearance. This does require five inches of clearance below the bottom of your receiver tube, and your receiver uh, opening should be flush with your bumper or protruding from the rear of your truck for that best fit. Now, this aluminum frame is lightweight. It weighs about 30 pounds, so it's lightweight, it's durable. Obviously, it's going to be rust-proof. So this is going to be perfect if you're using your trailer around water, such as a boat trailer. And this frame features a silver impact-resistant powder coat finish, the sturdy steel shank, and steel combo ball attachment are powder coated to resist rust. And this does have a maximum gross towing weight of 10,000 pounds, and the tongue weight is 1,000 pounds, but it is important to remember that a towing setup is always limited by its lowest rated component, whether that be your truck, your hitch, or another component. Now this does feature two different sized hitch balls. It's going to let you tow trailers with different coupler sizes. The balls are actually welded to the mount for added stability. And so this is going to be very easy to switch back and forth between your two and five sixteenths inch ball and your two inch ball. So let me give you a brief demonstration of that. As you can see, we do have these uh, two easy to remove pins. The large rings are gonna be very easy to grasp, so no more fumbling with uh, small hitch pin heads. This also features large safety clips, so you're not gonna be at the back of your truck struggling with this when you're trying to adjust this. So I'm gonna, I went ahead and removed our clips, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove our pins. By the way, uh, these uh, rings can be folded uh, one way or the other to get them out of your way. So as you can see, these pins slide uh, out very easily and I'm just going to flip this over to the two inch ball and I'll go ahead and put it at the highest setting here and slide our pins back in. This is going to have a drop range from half an inch to four and a half inches and the inside width of our channel is three and three quarters inches. And then the distance between our vertical adjustment holes on center is one inch. Now you can mount any shocker hitch accessory, including their pintle hook, their clevis pin and drawbar attachments into the channel to hook up even more trailers. So you're not limited to this, um, uh, this dual ball mount here. Now, the body of the shocker hitch is designed to pivot back and forth on the shank, uh, kind of like a seesaw or teeter-totter, as the airbag sits directly beneath your truck's receiver. And then the cushion bumpers, let me go ahead and give you a brief overhead view here. These cushioned uh, bumpers are going to take turns along with our airbag uh, to absorb that road shock. So when you hit a bump or your trailer bounces, this unit is going to pivot so that the airbag can isolate and absorb the energy. And then when your trailer jerks forward or backward, the two cushion bump stops are going to help soften the force. Now the airbag is easily adjustable. We do have this air valve here with this included cap. 
And so for heavier loads, you're just going to add more air. For lighter loads, you're gonna let air out. And it's gonna be very easy to determine the cor correct amount of air to use. To do that, you're just gonna simply hook your trailer up and then load the trailer the way that you are going to tow it. And then you're going to add air until these bump stops um, begin to compress. And once they begin to compress, then you should have the right amount of air in the airbag for your load. And then you're gonna be ready to go. So it's as easy as that. This does include a Zerk fitting right here uh, at the pivot point, which is going to make maintenance very easy. And the hitch pin hole diameter is 5 eighths of an inch and a pin and clip is sold separately. So if you do not already have a pin and clip that's gonna be compatible with this, that is gonna be something that you're gonna to have to pick up separately. Let me go ahead and give you some uh, measurements from our hitch pin hole, just to kind of give you an idea of, of uh, the, the clearance that you are going to have. So measuring the distance from the first hitch pin hole to the center of our ball, and we're sitting right at 10 and a half inches. And then the distance from the second hitch pin hole to the center of the ball, we're sitting at 11 and a half inches. And then the distance from the second hitch pin hole to the end of the shank, we're sitting at two and three quarters inches. Now, this is really an investment that you are making. So it, instead of going with just the standard pin and clip, I do recommend taking a look at uh, the infinite rule locking pins for the shocker hitch ball mounts. These pins are gonna work for your two inch and two and a half inch hitches. And on your screen, I am including our item number for those locking pins. You can just take the, that item number and put it in the search field of our website, and that will take you to those locking pins. And that's going to be a great way to protect this investment on the back of your truck. You're gonna get two locking pins to uh, lock and secure your attachment, and then another locking pin to secure this to your trailer hitch receiver on the back of your truck. So if you are looking for a heavy duty aluminum frame shock absorbing hitch with an adjustable drop dual ball mount, this item is going to be really a great item for you to consider. Well, that's going to wrap up our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.